popular knitting machine other than a beanie or a scarf. In this video, I am talking to an experienced circular knitting machine knitter to share her advice, her top tips on using these machines and showing some of the most popular and different things that you can make with a CKM or a circular knitting machine. Additionally, we're gonna be answering some of your questions here on the show live. And finally, we will uncover the top contenders for the best circular knitting machine. So stay to the end so you can hear what our top picks are for the best circular knitting machines. And these top tips um, on using the circular knitting machines is coming from expert advice from someone I'm really excited to share with you today, Jojo Juju. But before I turn it over to her, I want to give you some background. She is a successful and has a large following from people who want to learn how to use their circular knitting machines and who are looking for clear and helpful tutorials on patterns using the machines. She's been in this business for a while and hold on a second, we have an adder to the stage. <laughs> All right. Hey Jojo, how are Hi. you? Hi, I'm I'm fine. Thank you for the collaboration. I'm very happy to be here tonight with you and share some of my own journey. Do you hear me correctly? Oh, yeah, I hear you okay. very okay, well. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm excited to have you here today and that you're joining us live here. Um, we're going to talk knitting machines and we're going to talk about favorites or least favorites, maybe talk about yarn and sharing some of experiences and providing some valuable tips to everyone today, especially for beginners to the circular knitting world. And I hope everyone stays in the end because we're really going to be answering all of your specific questions and revealing our top picks for the best circular knitting machine. Before we get started, for all of you listening out there, let us know where you are coming from. Put it in the chat. I'm from Washington State, currently traveling. I'm in Washington, DC. Jojo, where are you coming at us from right now? I'm from New Brunswick, Canada. And uh, we're having a nice day today, but I still wow. sick. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like everyone's getting sick these days. I, I know uh, like 10 people have gotten sick. Winter is long. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, boy. Very long. Indeed. All right. With that, okay. So, um, Today, we're going to be showing some invaluable insights um, and sharing those with you. And at the end, we will have some engagement to answer some questions. And really, um, I'm hoping that we can help bring together, you know, a family of circular knitting machiners from around the globe, Canada. If you have a question, just type it in in the chat and then we can get to it. So the first thing I wanted to ask you, Jojo, is what is the very first knitting machine that you bought and like, why did you get it? Uh, my first one was a, at the king size. I got it for, for from my husband as a Christmas gift. And he bought me that with no instruction. <laughs> so I was a little bit upset at the beginning. I struggled a lot. But I thought it was me the problem. No, no, it was the yarn. <laughs> I got the wrong yarn all the way. And... I was very upset. I was like, almost like shit that again. And suddenly I changed yarn. Oh, oh miracle. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I uh, I also got the Addy 46 for my very first machine with no instructions. <laughs> and yep, I feel your pain. Yeah. <laughs> And the only video that I could find at the beginning was in German. Oh, it's like yeah. seven years ago. Now yeah. we have a lot of different language with yeah. the pattern on video on YouTube. But at the beginning, I listen a lot of German. <laughs> and I learn. I bet you learned it too. At least all the yeah. words are related to knitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when, even when I started, there wasn't too many good videos out there I couldn't find. But uh, yeah. Um, oh, look at this. We have some people here. We got Kathy from Wisconsin. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We got Lorraine from Illinois. Carlene from Wisconsin. 
We got somebody from Florida, nice and warm down there, I bet. Same in Louisiana. I'm, I'm sure it's warmer there than up here. <laughs> Welcome to the, the stream, guys. Um, so, Jojo, you had the Addy 46, and then you probably, you know, struggled with it a lot. So what are some things that you learned from it? Because you said you'd mentioned struggling with it with the yarn and everything. But what are some tips that you have? Um, you know, a few tips that you might have for someone who's just starting out with circular knitting machine, or maybe who just bought their machine, doesn't quite know what to do with it. Yeah. Watch a lot of video <laughs> and go on the knitting machine group and read the comments. People could help each other by reading and what's worked for one and try this and try that. And you could fix the problem just by reading sometimes and important sometimes people doesn't check correctly for the cast on. So that's a big mistake sometimes. If you don't do the cast on by end the first row, you're wrong. <laughs> you're not going to get through it. You won't be happy. But when you got the right yarn, keep, keep that one. <laughs> Save a lot of trouble. Yes. Um, so you said, uh, casting on is a big one. Um, there's a couple of ways to cast on. Do you, do you want to kind of talk about that? The different ways you can cast on a machine? Me, I always do, I always do like the easiest way, <laughs> just in front and the back, in front and the back. But if you want to do a different stitch, sometimes you have to play with it and use a, a loom hook to just switch your yarn and create new stitches but this different yeah yes that's it's definitely another more level another, another <laughs> level so yeah like me i like to do toys so yes easy and simple and quick yeah and put a smile face in the face very fast so that's good yeah so you mentioned, you know, the yarn, making sure it's the right yarn to get started, um, knowing how to cast on the machine, like, you know, in and out, in and out, every other pin. Um, the two, there's two ways that I found casting on. It's either with or without waste yarn. Yeah. So I was a crocheter when I started. And Me too. Um, yeah, you too, right? Yeah. And so um, waste yarn was a weird term to me. We call it scrap yarn in the crochet world. And so um, I quickly learned waste yarn is the same as scrap yarn, basically. But um, but waste yarn, I, casting on. I, I used to say scrap yarn, too. But people say, yeah. no, it's waste yarn. Oh, OK. I know. <laughs> so I change it. <laughs> yes. But I used to say scrap yarn. yarn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, when I do crochet stuff, it's called scrap yarn. But when it's circular knitting stuff, I call it waste yarn. And another <laughs> language. <laughs> it is. It's different language. Um, yeah, like in crochet, they say when you take your project apart, they call it frogging. But in knitting, um, I don't know. We don't really don't call know. it anything like unraveling it or something. Yeah, it's not really a term like frogging is. Yeah, definitely. If if someone out there has any questions related to knitting machines and want any tips or anything and advice, please go ahead and comment in the comment section. So Jojo, what are some of the most common mistakes beginners make when using a CKM and how can they avoid them? The first mistake, usually people bought those machines because they have a lot of yarn and they think all of yarn will work. Not, not, not all work. So you have to find the one that will work and you have to do the cast on like just like I just say correctly. And if it's easier for you, instead of picking all those stitches at the end, finish it with the waste yarn, and it's easier to remove at the end than if you start with waste yarn. But there is different way to use waste yarn. You could put another uh, line of yarn between your work, a line of yarn, and then you put the waste yarn in. You remove it at the end. But I never do that. I always forgot. But I know it's a good thing. I, I did it already on some video, but all the time I do video, I forgot. Because me, when I do my video, I prepare numbers, and then I I, I go and try it right away and film. 
and it's a trial and error, so I have to fix everything. And sometimes I leave it in the in the video, so people, if they do the same mistake, they will be able to fix it. There's always a way. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I think that I've I've watched. You know, I I have watched that. What you're talking about, where you use two waste yarns, you use the waste yarn and then the color and then the waste yarn again. Is that the method you're talking about? And then, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so you can easily see, like when you cast stuff, you can easily see the loops that are the, the main color that you're trying to use. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't tried that one yet because I don't know, I just, um, I guess it's, for, for me, my biggest mistake was when I knew to use waste yarn, I would, and I still do it now because I just, um, whatever, but my scrap yarn or waste yarn is too close in color to my uh, main color yarn. Like if it's especially if it's variegated and then I'm like, oh, it's not the same, but it's like variegated. So you forget that some of the colors are the same as the other one. And so then yeah. it's like really hard to like pick and up the you right. you go like this, ooh, is, yeah. is it the right <laughs> stitch, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And like, and then you pull it off and you're like, ah, oh, darn, <laughs> it was the wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> yep, Oops. but it's pretty easy to fix, which is nice. Yeah, <laughs> but more you do work on your machine, more you get new trick. If you just yeah. leave it there, you're not gonna learn a lot. You have to play with it. Yeah. And it, even when you do error like this, that's an error. But I keep it, okay? Because it could have like a visual for my next project. Okay, I will count it. Okay, if I go like this, I could do like another uh, project with that. So I always keep my mistake close to me. <laughs> they just give me an idea to cross to the next process. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, the tips we talked about, top tips we talked about for beginners when using a circular knitting machine, we've talked about being specific with your yarn because not all yarn goes through your knitting machines. No. Um, really knowing how to cast on because, um, and there's lots of videos on how to do it, but that's a big piece of it. And even like the tension you use when you cast on makes a big difference too. Um, I know that like, for example, on my Addy 22, if I cast on too tight, like the same way I would cast on the, I don't know, my Centro, uh, it like doesn't work. It has to be very loose. Um, and then using waste yarn to remove your projects as you go along. And that's true for the 22 needle adds, you know, is you have very, very loose. This is the same machine, like with 46 and 22, but they're very different. Cause I remember yes. when I got mine, I was like, a little bit frustrated because <laughs> it was like uh, 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 yeah. very tight. Oh, oh, I, I need to go very loose at the beginning. I was like, oh, but now it's <laughs> it's good. And with time, it gets yeah. better. Yes. And by the way, it's normal when it's making noise. People like get upset because of the noise that the machine does. But it's in plastic. So when you crank it, it's normal. They go with a little bit. Huh? Cannot. Yeah. Go uh, smooth like a metal one. That's a very expensive one. But yeah, some people want it like to be not noise, not nothing. Put yourself some music. You will not listen to the the noise, and you'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Absolutely. So I just want to real quickly transition to yarn because yarn is such an important piece of how you use your circular knitting machine and like if it's going to be successful or not yarn has so much to do with it so with that i am just gonna show you guys my intro to what we're going to talk about today on yarn these are just different pictures of beautiful yarn because if you're like me you probably love yarn and you probably like like yarn and you probably want more yarn, even though you probably have enough yarn. <laughs> yeah, there's never enough oh, yarn, right? Never there's enough. enough. Why do you say that? Not true. <laughs> I always need some yarn. I went buy some today too. Oh, you got yarn today. What'd you get today? Yeah, I got some Bernard Premium because it worked well on my machine. And something else too, um, that is good to know, like when you use darker yarn, some yarn doesn't work because the dye. The yarn really need to be very soft when you touch it with a little stretch. And sometimes the darker color doesn't stretch and is like not soft. So you get some drop stitch and that's not fun. No. But some yarn do that and some don't. And I noticed that the Belnet Satin Black 
work well. And Bernard Premium Black work well. But the other brand, woo. Not so much. No, oh, not so I much. I did not know that the color of the yarn, or if it was a darker color, had anything to do with the It's because thickness. of the dye. Oh. The dye, the dye they put in. That's interesting. Wow. That's good to know. That's a really good tip for folks today. <laughs> um, that's good. I didn't know that. So um, what are some of your favorite types of yarn to use with your knitting machine? What are your like top ones? Uh, the, that's the one, the, the, the Bernard Premium, because it's not too expensive and I could get it at tw uh, 15 minutes from here. If I want some beautiful yarn, I have to drive three hours to get to a Michael's because we don't have anything around here. Oh. So those are like six bucks here. It's not yeah. too expensive, but it used to be three. <laughs> yeah. So is that it's what you trouble. exclusively use on your machines as their Benet premiums? Yeah. Bernat premium and Bernat satin. Okay. Good to know. I That's like to use, so I think I shared this in the last video, but I bought the machines because I have so much yarn and I was like, I need to use up this yarn faster than I can crochet. And unfortunately, a lot of my yarn is Red Heart and it does not work so well. Some of the older skeins actually work very well for some reason. Maybe the dye is better, but they're softer and they're like the vintage, like they don't even make them for years now type yarn. Uh, but definitely the new stuff, like the reds and the darker colors do not work, even the yellows. And then I tried um, Karen One Pounder and it was awful, like so bad. I was so frustrated and I was just like, force it through my machine and you know how you pull it down to add weight to the bottom in the middle and just like forcing around oh my god my arms are so sore because I was just trying to get it through the machine and I mean I got it I made an entire blanket out of it but it was a painful process and I won't me, me, I, I never put any uh weight on my my project because I'm scared to bro broke the needle okay it could it's could crack down. yeah and I saw in the chat somebody said for a a book of five pattern, 34 bucks. Oh my God. That's expensive. You should, you should go visit my, my YouTube channel. Yeah. It's all free yeah. in there. Yeah. It's kidding. horrible. So this, uh, Laura, she asked, do natural fiber yarns work well on the machine? What do you, what do you think, Jojo? What? Do natural fiber yarns work well on the machines? Like cotton, bamboo, other types of natural wool? Not so well. It would work, but you have to be very, very slow, slow, slow. Because cotton, they don't have the little stretch in it. You could work it with cotton mixed with something else, but not on. Some people say, oh, yeah, work well. Mm. I try. I'm yeah. not sure I'm OK with that. <laughs> Yeah. That, that. So I agree. You have to be very slow and like deliberate with it. Um, but if I use a very fine, like a, um, it's like a two strand, like it's almost like okay. red, but it's like, two yeah, strand. maybe because it yeah. could stretch a little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. that works really well, actually, but it's a thinner material with more holes in it. But yeah. like for a scarf, a nice light scarf, it works really great. Or could, maybe could a light nice, blouse. Yeah. yeah. And I did use like the thick, worsted weight yarn and again it was really hard to get through the machine and i was struggling to get it through <laughs> it went um but i probably would do it again because it was too much of a pain yeah to be honest too slow and especially yeah. with those machines we'd like to do like faster yeah go, go, go. it's never fast enough yeah we want um, we want our thing to be finished before we start <laughs> <laughs> absolutely uh, so the other yarns I would suggest for folks watching is, so Brene Premium, she had mentioned, and, um, I would say also, um, Karen Simply Soft is good. It's a softer type yarn and it's a little thinner if you can get that one. And the other one is Hobby Lovey. I love this yarn, but that's, it, some of them work, some of them don't. Most of them do seem to work because it's just, again, it's a softer and a little bit thinner than a worse weight yarn. I love this yarn. But, I tried that one time. It's, it was working well, but I don't yeah. have that access to get more. Oh, I have to go oh, three hours. Bad. It's not fun. That's too bad. <laughs> and then the other one was the Lion uh, brand Heartland. Okay. Um, 
were the ones that I think work real well. And there's a, a cake as well. One of the Karen cakes to latte works pretty well um, on yeah. your machines. So I think in the end, like if you're going to use a natural fiber, um, a mixed kind to have a little yeah. more flexibility or thinner, thinner yeah. kind. Or thinner. Works, okay. yeah. yeah. And of course, any DK weight. So I usually use worsted weight yarn, but I think any DK weight works on the machines. Um, mm -hmm. It's just that you're going to have more gaps, I think, in the, you know, the material. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so we had another question. I just wanted to get to that before we forget it. Um, for patterns, I'd just, like, just like to yeah, say thank you, uh, thank you, Nancy. She said oh. I watch your your video all the time. Oh, there she is, there she is. Nancy. There you are. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Um, so she says, "Oh, are there patterns?" Um, I think Jojo, you just answered this, didn't you? Um, you said to watch some videos for free. Yes, for free. I don't do any books. A lot of people ask me yeah. to do books. I would like to, but I don't have time. I'm a busy yeah. mommy and I work at, in the hospital and YouTube is like my fourth job. <laughs> I also so, think that with knitting machines, like I feel like the videos are better. Like I agree with crochet. Sometimes a written pattern is better, but I don't know. With knitting machines, it's so visual and the way you show things. I don't yeah, know. but I know that people, when they get, how to get it work correctly they, they 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 like to have something written but me yeah. the big 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 thing i always put everything in my notebook oh yes. very good and i bring that to work with me when i'm on my break if i have an idea oh, put it down oh very good i have a notebook as well that i use all the time this is the one i use and That's I, great. Um, yeah, I designed it and I sell it on Amazon. If you're interested, I'll have to remember to leave a link, but I, um, I like graph paper to do my designs um, okay. because especially with the knitting machine, because it's all by rows, right? And you go one by one to determine your pattern, especially if you're doing those intricate, like um, duplicate stitch patterns or graph chart patterns. I really enjoy um, doing it that way. So I, I use my graph paper um, circular knitting machine journal to do that. Okay. And then Kathy says, what are your thoughts on using an electric adapter on the machines? Does it help with consistency or tension? I'm a little fussy on that subject because <laughs> I see people that work very well and some people that doesn't have a good result with it. They end up with a broken needle or it goes too fast and they drop stitch. You have to find the, the right one for your, but I'm not a big fan. I never try, but just what I read on my comment in my face, Facebook groups, I'm not a huge fan of it. But I know a lot of people use it and it works well. But me, I, maybe I'm too chicken because the machine is very expensive. I don't want to broke it. Oh, I'm very, uh, I go... And sometimes it goes too fast, and if you miss, but you lost your work, you have to start over. Me. Yeah, that'd be huge. I've yeah. done that before, or I've had to start over, and that's not fun. Um, okay, I will say, though, I don't use the electric adapter, like the one that automatically goes. I've seen it, okay. but I've never used that kind. And for the same reasons that you're saying, Jojo, um, but I do use and like my electric screwdriver, which is yeah. handheld. So it's not hands-free. You still have to but use you, your hand. You could but... fix the, the speed. Huh? Yes. If you could fix the speed, it's good. But some yeah. adapter, it goes very fast. And you have to, yeah, to be very not... careful. You're not relaxing at all. <laughs> Oh, I, yeah, I disagree with the fast, um, this like these screwdrivers, but, um, or yeah, the drills, I'm sorry, the drills, they go really fast and that could break mm -hmm. your machine or heat it up. People have had melted handles. Yeah, it gets stuck. yeah, I saw that. And the live, yeah. <laughs> she was going very, very fast. I was watching the live. I was, oh my gosh, she's going to ruin her machine. Yeah. And like, <laughs> get stuck. Never see that YouTuber again after that picture. Oh. No, she broke it. That sucks. But yeah, the um, electric screwdriver, it only goes as fast as you can actually crank with your hand. And okay, so that one good. doesn't overheat it. It's it's a good speed. So definitely. 
So for the folks out there, if you have a, a um, comment on your favorite yarn, please go ahead and make your comment there so we can show the group what other people are fans of. All right, so while people are doing that, can you, Jojo, tell us about a project that you are most proud of um, that you use your, you know, CKM to make? The one I really like was the elf. My little elf is was a Christmas elf, but uh -huh. I gave it to my niece, so I don't have it with me. You showed it to me last time, I remember. Yeah, and this this one is a gnome that I really like. And you know what? I travel. I travel with it, this gnome. I bring him with me. I take picture everywhere we go with the family. It's it's kind of our new member in the family. It's funny. But the most popular one I have is those kindness doll. That's a smaller version. I have this the mini and the medium and the large one that is made on the 46 uh, knitting needle. There. And the one that I have for today was this one. My little baby duck. I really like that one. And it was a new video today and it's free <laughs> on my channel. I like to create a lot of stuff. I like those little, little mouse. <laughs> Did I lost you? <laughs> no, I'm here. Oh, okay, I'm you're here. there. There I am. I was, I was just seeing me on the video. I was like, oh. Did she jump? <laughs> no, I was just highlighting you so that we could see your cute little creations, like your mouse okay. and all that. Okay, so that's cute. what. Okay. Yeah. I have this one. It's nice. It, it's very fast oh. to do. It's nice to give, like, for a donation or for a police officer when they go get some kids at night and they have something to give to them to relax. Or at the hospital, it's a nice little gift after you get needle and blood work. Kids will get very uh, sad, and you give something like that, so it put a smile on their face. So that's great. Adorable. So we have a couple comments here. Uh, I don't know if you have any tips for Nancy, but maybe later, Nancy, you could ask us specifically, you know, what the issue is there. And then Kathy, she's saying that her favorite yarns are Lion Brands, Heartland, which I agree, Scarfy, and then Wool Ease Fair Isle. All right, huh? good to know. For people Scarfie. to know. Scarfie. I don't know, I don't that, know one. that one. Mm -hmm. No, me either. Where are yeah. you from, <laughs> Kathy? Yeah. yeah, if you can put in your comments, Kathy, let us know where you're from. So um, the other question, Patricia, yes, we will talk about some patterns here soon. <laughs> More patterns than the ones that yeah. she just chatted about. They are on her um, channel. So she has a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. We have patterns on there. But the ones she specifically talked about, um, this one is one of her most popular ones on the channel. Yeah. And um, you could find it there. Yep. You could see JoJo's got it. Oops. Um, yeah. I got a lot of video and pattern. I have over 500 video with tip and tricks and also it's all free. <laughs> Just have to take a visit and keep a notebook to <laughs> close to you and take notes when you watch the video. All right. Okay. So next we are going to talk about what are you working on currently? Are you allowed to share what your current project is? Uh, Right now, telling you the truth, I don't have anything. <laughs> oh, look at that. You finished. You're like, ah, oh, no more. Uh, I, I was sick for two weeks. I finished <laughs> that for today. I was oh, working all cute. night like that. It's very cute, though. It's yes. very easy. And I, I did the video. It's a step-by-step -step video. Yeah. And I show how to attach all the pieces and yeah. those little feathers that you do with the crochet hook. Yeah. But if you don't know how to do it, I show you how to do it. And out what size it. eyes are you using? Like uh, those is like a one, two, three, three centimeter. I bought that Sorry. on the Amazon. They're not expensive, but it's for over three years old, though, because it's not safe to give that to a baby. 
as he yes. quits choking Azur. Yes. But it's still cute. I love that one. Adorable. Very cool. And it's easy All right. to do. Easy to do. I yeah. like that. That's the fun thing about knitting machines is they can be so adorable, but easy to do. Yeah. And then are there any projects or techniques that you would like to try with your knitting machine, but you just haven't gotten to it yet? The different stitch. <laughs> the thing that okay. we do with the, that's, yep. uh, that would be uh, something I will explore soon. Because I have other idea of project. And maybe if I could try this and incorporate that with, could be mm -mm, yeah. game changer for some new project. I like to yeah. create. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, me too. <laughs> so what are some of the essential tools or accessories that you recommend for anyone using a circular knitting machine? A notebook, a loom hook, a real hook, good scissors, and good light, because if you don't have enough light, it's hard on your eye. Uh-oh. Looks like the signal, I don't know if it's just me, but the signal seems to be a little bit... So while that's loading, um, and hopefully it's not me and I'm still live here, let me check YouTube and make sure I'm still there. Okay. <laughs> um, there she goes. Now she's back. I'm, a, I'm a here. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. We were just going over your tools. You were saying your hooks and then lighting. Yeah, a good lightning. And, uh, and, do you work with your machine when you sit on a chair or when you're up? I do both. I have my 22. I usually like to stand, but with the, it just depends, but I do both. Me, yeah, I'm always up. Cannot be a, on a chair, not yeah. comfortable. Yeah. So uh, a, night, a nice table is a good asset to have, too, to put your machine on. And yeah. if it's possible to keep it on the same place all the time. It yes. is not always possible because we all need the table to eat on. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I'm jealous of some folks. They can like drill a hole into their machine, into the table, and they have it really steady. And I haven't been able to do that because I don't have like a table I can do that with yet. But that'd be nice. That'd be ideal is being I, I able to like drill the machine permanently somewhere. Yeah. But one of my uh, members in my group, she just... You know the table, uh, kitchen table. You could open. She attached her machine in the middle, so she oh, yeah. doesn't have to put a hole. So nice. when she's done, she remove it. It, it worked well. She made a video yeah. on that to show me. I'm like, oh, you're a brat, you. <laughs> That's, That's a good amazing. idea too. I like it. Yes. So when, awesome. Yeah. A good table as well. All right. I personally have a lot of tools that I recommend as well, very similar to what Jojo you're saying. And but I have a video I'll talk about all that on Friday, so you can watch that on Friday to help you be more efficient and have more fun with your knitting machine, um, and to be able to use more yarn because some of these like tools and stuff that I found, um, it just I can use like a lot of my yarn now, even the Red Heart. It's amazing. I'm, I'm like shocked oh, that yeah? it's like so helpful. Yeah, like the. The ear, the silicone ear. A game thing changer. The, it, yeah, it totally is. And then the clips with the weight, those two combined, I can use all the yarn. It's so great. So if you haven't already, subscribe and put on that notification bell so you can be reminded to see that video. Now, I do want to talk about um, folks who might be hesitant to start knitting, knitting. I think everyone here currently is probably already knitting with their circular knitting machine, but if somebody's thinking about it, what kind of advice would you give somebody who isn't sure if they want to do that yet? First, you really have to have a budget because those machines are not cheap. So if you got a good budget, go direct for Addy King's Eyes. And if you don't have that budget, go for the Centro 48 needle work well for the prize work well those are the two i really 
use on all my video. And uh, at D22, after, <laughs> when you decide to have smaller and do some toys, you have the AD22 needle. It work well. Yes. It's expensive. Those Addies are the yes. most expensive machines. They are like I don't, almost $200 for them. Or are they $200? I can't remember. But they're pretty pricey. Seven years ago, my husband paid 350 Canadian dollar for that. Plus tax. Seven years ago. So it's That's very expensive to get something here. I don't know if we have any Canadian people in the chat. It's very, very expensive. And for the smaller one was 250 plus tax and shipping. Uh, for the yeah. As it grow. So, but me, I got lucky. My husband loved me a lot. <laughs> oh, he does, of course. Yeah, I didn't He's pay so for that. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> he must. No, I'm just, I, uh, I hear you, though. Those are expensive. So um, I definitely think the Centros are a, a more reasonable price. Um, mm -hmm. But you do sacrifice quality and some other things for the Centros. But if you're just trying it out, yeah, it's not too much of an investment the, to get the, the 40. Yeah, and the, 40, the 48, it's, it's it's a nice one. Yeah. 40 is different. It's more like a toys, right. but it still work. still works. Yes. But mm -hmm. me, I, between the 40 and the 48, I 48. Yeah. That's my I favorite agree. one. But 40 work well, too. I have two in my bag. Yeah, I like I like the Prime Maxi to work well. Yeah. Um. So before we get into the the details on that, I did put a poll. So for folks out there, what is your next um, knitting machine um, project? Is it a wearable like a hat, a scarf, a shirt, a dress, or is it a toy like the cute little duck or maybe um, the little mini mallard duck I made or any other animal? chicken squishes are pretty popular or do you have yeah. another idea maybe a blanket or something else all right i am going to give it a couple seconds and then oh well we'll yeah i'm working it. on a sweater but it's not it's not done yet uh, <laughs> so it looks like wearables are the winner of the folks who took the poll and okay. that is i think wearables are great i mean the circular knitting machines are a great tool to use to make something to wear hat real easy awesome Hat. Lorraine says she's making a hat. Okay. I like making hats too. They're fun. They're like pretty easy. 30 minutes or 20 minutes, 40 minutes to do. Okay. So um, Jojo, what can you share as far as maintaining your knitting machine? What kind of things do you do to help ensure the care and, you know, the maintenance of it? Every time I use my machine, I always check all my needle. I crank it a full 360 before I start a uh, project. Because one time it's happened to me, I have like a little crack on my uh, needle and I was doing my work, but like always drop, stitch, drop, stitch. I was like very upset. And it was not the yarn the problem, it was the machine. It was, it was broken. And when I fixed that, after that, everything was okay. So now I always check all my needle or crank it at the full 360. And also, um, I did it twice in seven years. I opened the top of my machine and you and use a, a spray can with only air in it and just remove the dust. And that's it. I didn't put any uh, any oil and every anything. Just remove the dust, put it the, the the screw back on and that's it. I did it twice. And my machine worked well. After seven years. <laughs> <laughs> seven years and you haven't replaced it except one needle. Yeah, one needle. That's cool. And I uh, I uh, my crank that one of my uh, machine, the crank for some reason, like the the darker plastic in the middle of the crank. I was cranking poof. Stay in my hand, open oh, I, but it was easy to fix. It was less than one dollar. I bring that to my um, store close to me. I put my machine. I, I said, I need some some nut, 
a nut and some screw to fix that. He said, okay. And he fixed that. <laughs> I put a drill on it and he find the right screw to put and we were okay. Nice. To go and it still worked. Lorraine has a question. How hard is it to change the needle if it breaks? Uh, I have the old version of uh, Addy. It was very easy. You just remove the three screw on the top or three or four. You don't remove everything. And you remove the red ring after that. And, and uh, you just remove the, the needle that is broken. Put a new one. Put your ring again. And you put the, the, the cap on it and... That's it. I, I see people remove everything to just change one needle and they end up with trouble because you have to put the ring, the red ring at the same place. The number have to be like the number one is for the black needle. And if you switch that, it's not working. And people get very uh, frustrated with that. So just remove what you have to remove. Don't <laughs> do that mistake. Yeah, no kidding. I'm setting up another poll. Okay. And it's going to be, I'll leave it open for a little while for folks to answer. But we will get into that soon. But the question I just put in the poll is, what is your favorite? And don't answer yet, Jojo, but what is your favorite I, circular knitting machine? I'm asking this to everybody online. Put it in if it's the central. I just put central because... The poll only lets me put four options. I know there's a million kinds, but is it like one of the Centros? Is it one of the Addies or is it some other brand? Other brands out there. There are quite a few actually. Um, and we can talk about those real quick. So we have um, right here. So the Centro 40, the Centro 48, the Centro 32, the Centro 22. <laughs> then you have the white and black one there. That's the um, Knit Quick. Michael's loops and thread one. You have the prim one, which she was talking about. You have the Addy 46, which is at the bottom of the slide there. And then you have the Addy 22. And I mean, then you can go into all sorts of other types of circular knitting machines that exist. Like there's this Jamit one that's like an electric one. It has really poor ratings on Amazon. There's that purple one, which is like Zenvite. I can never pronounce it. Zenvite or something. And uh, yeah. Oh, she's got the... That Jamit one has terrible ratings. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell us about it. First, uh, it's too fast. <laughs> you, you you cannot fix the seed. If when you put it on, it's going very fast. You lost your stitch, but I, I have to put it off and start over. Oh, they need to do some adjustment to to be uh, able to say that it's a good good machine. It's not the worst one, but it's not the good good yet. They have some little change to, to do. Just to <laughs> fix the feet, the, the speed would be a good, good, good thing to change. All right. I yeah. do have a comment. Somebody is getting a circular sock machine. That's different. So uh, I know a lot of people, they're expensive from what I understand, but I have never used one. Have you ever used one, Jojo? No, I wish to try one. It's like a yeah. hundred, uh, no, eight, 1800. Yeah. It's very expensive. Two, yeah. 2005, the, the higher I, I see for Canadian. I don't know for uh, America, but here mm -hmm. it's expensive stuff, but very it's great stuff. So. I wish yeah. to try that. <laughs> I wish to try that. One day. I don't know if I'm ready to invest in that, but one day. I wonder if you can make more than just socks, though, because I feel like I wouldn't really want to make socks with it. I'd oh, no. I have members in my groups that they do toys with it. Because of my oh, video, they get inspired. After a while, they do socks and socks and socks. They want to do something else. So now they do some uh, some adjustment for the number yeah. of rows, but they copy my uh, my toys. Yeah. So that's good. I guess I imagine it's just like much smaller, like the yarn, you have to use sock yarn, right? So it's very thin yeah. and you have to use much thinner yarn with it. Hmm. That could be interesting. Um, all right. And then you mentioned the Prim Maxi. Can you tell us about the Prim Maxi? It's a 44 pin, right? Yeah. I don't have that. Work one. well. Mm -hmm. Work well, but it's slightly different. I will go get it just a minute. Yeah, no problem. 
And while she's out there, if you haven't answered in the poll yet, let us know what your favorite one is. Whether it's the Addy brand, one of the Addies, one of the Centros, maybe it's the Nitquick. I know there's a, fan, a following of the Nitquicks out there. I'm, I'm okay with them, but I have a review I did of it and where you see me struggling with the Karen one pound yarn with it. It was, it was awful. <laughs> All right. The this, Prim, you got it. This one, I really enjoy the, the crank. Very comfortable and everything. They do a very nice stitch too. A little difference is the Addy or the Centro, they have two teeth here. And uh -huh. this one doesn't. So you have to go lower with you are you will need all to grab the stitches except that perfect and it's not that expensive and work well and this one's belong to my friend <laughs> she bring it here and she forgot about it <laughs> so it's still on my shelf oh it's like a free gift <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, the, I am, I'm the lucky one <laughs> but she, oh she knows it's here she she come to my yeah. place to do some uh, beanies for the hospital so that's why it's still here. All right. All right. Let's see what people are saying. Oh, my goodness. Everybody says the Addy. <laughs> There's not even not even a competition. It's like Addy. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else says anything else. Just Addy. <laughs> so yeah. this is the time now. It's, Jojo, what is your favorite circular knitting machine? It's Addy. 46. Addy. It's Addy 22. It's and those are your top two. The 46. And when you get comfortable with the, yeah, when you get comfortable to do the flat panel, you're, you're good with 46. You could do all you want with only this machine. Yes. So if your budget is limited, go for the big one. So you could do some blanket. You could do beanies. You could do toys. Because if you learn how to do the flat panel, you could reduce mm -hmm. the the length night yep. so you could create a lot of stuff so yes awesome Addie's the winner i mean so me too my favorite one is the 22 actually and then the 46 yeah. just because yeah. but only because the Addie 22 can like literally take any yarn ever like it takes yeah, any of my yeah, yarns and i love that so it's, it's so convenient and plus i like making toys better and so it's a smaller one so yeah but the 46 is a close second <laughs> all right <laughs> it's different. Uh, yeah, exactly. But it's the Addy. It's the brand. So we have a question here from Kathy. If you see a tuck strip stitch or drop stitch, um, are you likely to fix it on the machine or start the project all over? It depends. When it's like 25 rows, I remove it, start over. But when it's like 200 something, oh, I will fix it. I will go and get my hook and fix it. It works. So you just have to like always keep an eye on your work so when it's happened you don't wait like it's that much to fix it you, you fix it right away so you could continue after that but usually if it's it's below 25 or 40 i will go and strip it and start over because yeah. it doesn't take time yeah. those machine is so, very fast mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's fast 40 stitches or 40 rows is not that hard to redo no yeah. I've gone, I've been there though, where I'm like 198 and like, I'm almost done. And then, ah, oh no, oh, I dropped mm -hmm. stitch. And it's like, you have to fix it. I'm like, oh, totally, 200 rows in. Yeah, you got to do it. <laughs> and sometimes too, when I do mistake like that, and I have two tubes to make, and they're supposed to be like uh, smaller. I was just yeah. finished there and go with the lifeline. <laughs> yeah. And Remove the, the part that is not okay and keep the, the good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I That's cheat. <laughs> well, I mean, I sometimes do too. So, like, if I'm making a beanie or a toy that's double, like, doubled, and I know that that part is going to be on the inside, and if it's a tuck stitch, what does it matter? You're not going to see it. So, it's on the inside, yeah. and it's okay. So. Nobody, if it's like no, one, you know, nobody you know. is going to know. <laughs> no, you're not going to see it. It's not going to hurt no. anything. Yeah. All right. So um, last question. And if you're out there, I would like to know as well what you're saying, though. But what is your least favorite machine and why? The one I show you, the square one. 
because it's, it's not working properly. Yeah, the, the, the Jamitla. <laughs> yes. That's so a, maybe um, if you do some thing to fix it, it will work better. But for now, it's not the best. So that's the only thing. But I sent them some requests and they answer me. So maybe they will fix it. So maybe in the near future, they will be good. You have to start somewhere. And those machines are brand new style with the, the motor. The idea is very good. But the only thing is you have, you have to fix the, the speed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I try. And you, you don't have that much of drop stitch too. Long. I was try with different yarn. This machine mm -hmm. could be good one day if they do little change. And they were very uh, nice to talk to. They actually answer me. So that was That's good. Cool. So. That's good. Yeah. They probably should have done like a prototype though before like putting it out yeah. there and getting a bad name, you know. Yeah, because yeah. They, they did that too fast. And uh, the comeback was not good. Yeah. So maybe they could make some try to give yeah, that they to got some YouTuber or somebody to try it before they put that yeah. on the market. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, I am. Um, I agree. I have not tried it. He was not good. All yeah. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So we're coming towards the end here, but. I do want to put out there for folks, if they have any other questions, please comment in the chat. If you have any questions regarding circulating machines, I think people have been, and that's been wonderful. And it's really appreciated. And I hope that we're answering your questions and getting all that out there. So I do want to um, ask Jojo, where can someone reach out to you to connect with you on either social media or something else? have a YouTube channel and also an admin to 19 knitting machine group <laughs> in French and in English. So I'm very easy to find. <laughs> so, and usually I answer the, the message that I got. So if you have any question about my videos, I take the time to answer it. Or even on my YouTube channel, if you have question, I answer it. I answer everybody's question. I That's think that's great. Time. That means a lot, I think, to people. Yeah. I, sometimes the question could help me for something else. Maybe I explain it away, but it's not clear enough. So, oh, okay, maybe they didn't, they didn't understand. Maybe if I do it. So it's good. It's positive. So that's why I yeah. always answer a question. Yeah. Um, that's great. Jojo, you're very kind and open and honest, I think. I really liked you being here today. I will, of course, post the links so that you can reach out to Jojo below and as well as uh, links to the other things we talked about, um, some of the products and that Circular Knitting Machine Journal and other things like that. Um, thank you so much, Jojo, for being here. I'm hoping that we can make this maybe a consistent thing a little bit in the future out there. We'll see how it goes. We'll try it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. You know, I think we have to fix some things with, with the program that we use so we can make sure it gets broadcasted out to the right channels. Because uh, I'm not sure it's doing that for other than this particular YouTube channel. So we'll have yeah, to I tried to put it on mine, but it doesn't work. So I didn't so about it. Continue. Yeah, it's it's a new program to us all. But as you as you all in the audience there, continue with your circular knitting machine journey. Check out some of the tutorials I have on this channel. Check out the many tutorials that Jojo has on her channel. Don't hesitate to reach out to either one of us. We are there to talk to you, to build a community of circular knitting machine community. If you like this live collaboration video, let me know in the comments and I will continue to push these out in the future. Thank you so much, everyone. And I am going to end it with that. I got an okay. ending video. Thanks, Ta -ta, Jojo. everybody. Bye. And thank Bye. you for your, your collaboration with me tonight. I really appreciate yeah, that. So but it's nice. <laughs> it's scary because it's the first time, but it was nice. I know. Thank you. <laughs> we, did, Thank you. we did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, guys.